All right, so R36 exhausts. Everyone wants to put a loud exhaust on their R36, then they do it, and then the drone's too much, so they take it back off. So today I'm gonna to explain my cost-effective, cheap method to get the best of both worlds for my R36 that has a valve in it. So what I'll show you right now is with the valve closed. And what you're about to hear now is the valve open. As you can hear, it is what I consider a rather nice sound. It does have a little bit of that air noise when you rev it stationary, but just don't rev it in stationary and just drive it hard. This setup that I have on my R36 can be achieved for about $300 Australian. I've now given all the people who just want to hear the VR6 growl what they want. So let's go into some detail about what this setup has in its place. So first things first. The center, res well actually let's talk about the stock exhaust. Comes out of the headers, goes down, goes into two catalytic converters, two small resonators, one bigger center resonator, splits off Y pipe into two giant rear mufflers that do a very good job at muffling sound. So, the center resonator I just walked into his stool. The center resonator is rather big and if you remove it, which I can show you right now, here it is. That's the sensor resonator out of an R36 Passat with the um, flange on the end, so I can always put it back in and put it back to factory if I need to. It is a rather big unit, so if you replace that with um, just a two and a half inch straight pipe like I have, it's the same diameter in and out, what you're gonna end up with is a fair bit of space around the muffler. So when you do that, what you can do is exactly what I've done and get a cheap two and a half inch eBay valve, weld that in, and then wire it in yourself. So again, to get that center res delete, I've seen quotes from anywhere from 120 up to about 160. That valve was about $120. So let's just give a little bit of extra, let's say 300 Australian dollars to achieve those results I just showed you and uh, wiring it up yourself, which is super, super easy for these cars. So again, if we see underneath the car here, We'll have a look down. It might be a little bit hard because it is rather dark in here. And uh, if we look right there, there is our straight pipe section, our dump valve. We want this angled down at the ground so we don't burn any of the material underneath the car because there are or is a rubber exhaust hanger just there and we don't want to be melting that rubber. Um, again, also because I've got the flanges, if I got defective for that hanging too low because it does probably hang too low because my R36 is lowered and sitting at a very, very nice height. Um, I can always just take it back off. It's about a 20 minute job, jack the car up, take the center res out, put the stock one back in, go and get the defect cleared, whatever. Again, I don't think I have any issues with this, but just in case every single thing I do to this car, I want it to be reversible like that. So how do you wire it in? Super, super simple. Just come underneath the car, I've tucked it up. I think, I can't remember what sort of line, but there's some sort of line underneath the car that I basically just cable tied it to right to the back, then run it up above the heat shield for the rear passenger side muffler uh, on a right-hand drive car. And then if you have a sedan like I do, ignore the um, trees. I just like the boot to smell nice when it's open, okay. In a sedan, you have this black bit of plastic here. If you lift up the spare wheel well um, cover, lift that up. This bit of plastic can be lifted up with just the littlest bit of pressure. There's just one, two, three, four clips. Pull it up, it'll snap out, and then there'll be a rubber grommet just there. So with that rubber grommet, cut a little slit in it, run the 12 volt wire through it, then it's watertight, and you can get a wire from the inside of the car to the outside of the car. Then I have the control box and all of that just here underneath the carpet. And you'll see my little 12 volt wire comes up through there, plugs into the rear cigarette lighter. Now I've used that because it's fused and it's super easy to remove. If I wanted to go back to stock, all I've got to do is unplug that, take the cable out, put the center res back in, full factor exhaust on the R36 again. So very quick talking, very quick video. That's the R36 exhaust I'm currently running. Gives me the best of the world. I have no drone at 80, very, very minimal drone at 100. 
absolutely dead silent at 110. Open that valve up, screams all day long. There's no rasp. It doesn't sound like a fully straight pipe to R32 where it's really, really raspy and almost a little bit too over the top. It's the perfect setup, in my opinion, for those of you who don't want to spend an arm and a leg. So I hope you've enjoyed. If you're gonna consider this setup, let me, do, let me know down below. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Chuck a like on it. That is my R36 Passat exhaust. I hope you've enjoyed. And I'll see you guys in the next video where I might talk about, well, I wanna make a video explaining all the mods I've done to this car and some of the stuff I've got planned for the future, i.e. sway bars, brakes, etc. So with that being said, hope you've enjoyed. Chuck a like, subscribe. I'll see you guys in my next R36 related video.